Welcome back. And in our sports news, it's been a very exciting week at the ladies' tennis this week, and fans now eagerly await the final this evening between newly crowned number one Caroline Wozniacki and Svetlana Kuznetsova in what will be a nail-biting match for the Dubai Duty Free World Championships. We spoke with Ali Hassan earlier today, who gave us a recap and roundup of what exactly happened this week. Uh, thanks, Laura. It's been a really exciting week at the Ladies Dubai Tennis Championships here. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the condition. The conditions have been very tough for the players throughout the week as it's been very windy, so it's been hard for the players to adjust to the game, especially for the first few days. And talking about the upsets, we had one upset of... Uh, Crowd favorite Anna Vanovic uh, falling to Patty Schneider. So that was a real close match, but unfortunately Anna lost that match. And then we talk about some thriller matches. Some really exciting ones was uh, uh, Svetlana Kuznetsova against the former French Open champion uh, Francesca Schiavone. That went to thriller three sets and eventually Kuznetsova was the victorious. Uh, we had another thriller match the other day for the quarterfinals that was between uh, Yelena Jankovic and Samantha Stosa. That was absolutely, the, it got the crowd on their toes. Uh, it, was, it was a real head-to-head -head battle. Went to a long three sets and eventually uh, Yelena Jankovic was a victorious over Samantha Stosa. Uh, the semifinals were pretty clear. Uh, we had number one seed Karina Wozniacki, another crowd favorite, sailing through and she beat uh, Yelena Jankovic. And on the other semifinal, Svetlana Kuznetsova, uh, the former runner-up at the Dubai Championship, she went through against uh, Panetta. Uh, that was a straight sets win as well. And uh, the doubles so far has been going uh, head to head as well. The number one and number two seed, they battled off for the championships today. And the matches start at 5 o'clock for the doubles. If you want to get there early, you'll catch some great action. And uh, the singles final will start at 7.30 between the number one seed, Carolina Wozniacki, and the number 16 seed, Svetlana Kuznetsova. So uh, enjoy the tournament, and I'll see you guys again next week for a quick roundup for the men's event. Thank you. And don't miss our special report on the tennis straight after the news. Now, India's top scoring batsmen in their victorious opening World Cup match on Saturday and Bangladesh captain both expressed relative contentment with the outcome. Indian opener Varenda Sewag smashed 175 to help set up a massive 87-run win for India, hitting the highest one-day score of 140 balls, leading India to 370 for four. He added 203 runs with Virat Kohli for the third wicket, with the latter also completing a century in the final over. Kohli finished on 100 not out off 83 balls in his World Cup debut. Chasing the improbable target of scoring nearly seven and a half runs and over, Bangladesh ended their 50 overs on 283 for nine, which is still their highest total in a World Cup match in their fourth tournament. I equal uh, couples record in World Cup. I'm, I'm happy and honoured to be, you know, uh, people will... Uh, now speak about, you know, couple they've got 175 and Sevag also got 175. If you think about batting and fielding, I thought we fielded really well and uh, we batted, uh, uh, batted well enough and we execute our plans in batting. So, uh, one area we can improve obviously our fast bowlers and spinners to ball in the right areas more often. And in football, Manchester United had to battle all the way through their match to claim a 1-0 win over minor league Crawley Town, who emerged as the moral victors from their FA Cup fifth round tie at Old Trafford on Saturday. United, who have lifted the FA Cup a record 12 times, won with a Wes Brown header after 28 minutes, but were never able to relax against the visitors, who are 93 places below them in the English league pyramid. Crawley came close to equalising in stoppage time when Richard Brody headed against the top bar. And from sports to spending, the Dubai Shopping Festival ends today. During the last week, several multinational concerts took place. Meanwhile, malls were swamped with shoppers taking advantage of the discounts, hopeful for a chance to win any of the prizes at stake. Various areas, particularly shopping malls in Dubai, constantly featured fireworks, fanfare and entertainment for over a month now, in keeping with the DSF's reputation for endless shopping and fun. The 32 days of shopping was filled with events such as the Quick Change Show at Bird that brought in the crowd and kept customers coming back for more. It's been a difficult couple of years with the recession. The market has been impacted, but we're seeing a positive turn. We're seeing shoppers come out. We're seeing cafes having a great turnaround. We're seeing families come out together. And I think this is a positive sign for the entire industry and, of course, you know, the region we are in. 
And finally, Britain's Queen Elizabeth has sent out nearly 2,000 gold embossed invitations to the wedding of her grandson, Prince William and Kate Middleton, on April the 29th. The invitations posted on Wednesday and Thursday feature the Queen's insignia stamped in burnished gold. About 1,900 people, ranging from family and friends to foreign dignitaries, diplomats, soldiers and charity workers, have been asked to attend the service in Westminster Abbey, but no names have been revealed just yet. And with that, let's take a look at the international and local weather forecast for tomorrow. And before we head out, here are the top stories again. IDEX 2011 commences in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi crime rates see decrease. A rise in school fees under review. And first gold bank to convert 3.6 billion dirhams of convertible bonds. Well, that brings us to the end of the bulletin. As always, please feel free to get in touch with us at news at city7tv.com. Why not call us on 04367 2230? And please do join our Facebook page. From the entire news team, it's goodbye for now.